Hello and welcome. This video deals with room areas and volumes calculations in Revit 2014. The video is a part of a series focusing on the use of schedules and quantities. In this video we'll model a simple building, we'll add rooms, we'll write out a schedule and also compute the volumes. Okay, I'll start with a new project based on a default metric template. I'll draw a very simple building. I will add a few internal walls. something like this and we can now start adding some rooms maybe with an area side of them and write out a schedule quantities of the rooms and add area, maybe a name and a number. And say OK. And now we have a nice schedule of the four rooms with the areas. If we go back to the schedule and add a volume as well, will notice that it's not computed. The reason for that is the settings in Revit under rooms and areas are not calculating the areas and volumes while working because it slows down the program a little bit. If we want to add the areas and volumes we turn it on and automatically now you should see in your schedules that we have the volume as well as um, the areas. And of course the tax could also be selected and modified um, with volume. Or if both needed to be written out we could edit the family. We could um, move this down something like this, load into projects, override existing version and then we might need to edit the type here and turn this show area on as well. And of course spend some time on naming the families correct. Okay, um, of course this was a very simple building If we look at it in 3D, it looks something like this, and I have paid no attention to the height of the wall, it looks like. So I'll just connect this to level 1, and also notice that if I go to a section of my building, here, that the area goes up to um, the level. In case I make a ground floor slab, let's say simply like this, finish it and copy it to level 2, then I should be able to see both of them in my section and I also notice that my volumes automatically adjust to the room bounding walls and uh, building components. Okay, the last thing I'll show you is just how um, to use color schemes. In order to do that, I'll just give them a few different names like this and go to the view here, maybe duplicate that.
something like this and then add a color scheme based on the rooms and maybe their names give them different um, colors and of course we could check these ones again and um, automatically notice that if I change the names then they should get the same color okay that was it for room and area and volume uh, calculations I hope to see you back in upcoming videos goodbye